hello everyone in today's video i'm doing a fish tank cleanup and i'm also gonna be adding a new background to my fish tank so for adding a background to the fish tank it is very important that you get the right measurement of the background before you are buying it so before you are buying it online or if you're going to a store to buy it just take the right measurement so you do not get the smaller size of it right length of the wallpaper right length of the background is important so here i'm gonna be using a duct tape to add the background to my fish tank you can also use glue to add background but uh, this particular background is having two sides so i was thinking in my next cleanup i can just reverse the different sides of uh, like different side of it so it will be easy for me so i'm using a easy you know type of a version to add like this background because i'm just gonna be using some tape and then adding the background and it this was little big uh like the background was little big in size the length was uh, like little big and the width was little big so i'm just gonna be cutting it and just fitting it into the tank so you have to do it like most of the time and you can just use uh, any you know transparent tape that will also work just add some trans transparent tape and you can use the background or just use like duct tape uh, and then just cut it out and now i'm adding some stones and pebbles to decorate my aquarium so for decor there are so many uh, stores which carry really nice decor and i most of the time get it from PetSmart because that is the nearest store to my home or i just buy it online from walmart so these are the ones which i got from walmart and some of them are uh, are from my previous tank which was uh, which i was having years ago so this is how i'm decorating it so here i'm adding air pump air pump you can buy it online or from any pet store i got this one from pet smart and if you want to buy the air pump if you want to add this feature of air bubbler and air stone make sure when you're buying it you have to buy a air tubing a air stone air bubbler and the valve this does not come together in one kit so you have to buy it from uh, online or any store from wherever you're buying make sure you have all the items together then only your air pump will work you really need all these things so that you can add this feature to your tank so now this is how i'm adding the tubing and the air stone to my air uh, to my tank so this is very easy to do it make sure you have all these things before you are adding to the fish tank because it won't work without all these things So this black thing over here is for increasing the bubbles or decreasing the bubbles so make sure while when you want to turn it off first you have to turn this off and then take the plug out of the air pump this is very very important and make sure whenever you want to just turn off the aquarium air pump make sure you close this black thing it is very important and then you can just take the plug out while adding air stone or air bubbler if you feel that it is floating in water it's better to add pebbles next to it or you can just put some decor like on top of it which helps it not to float So 
so here i'm filling up the tank and i'll be leaving it overnight as it is to come to the room temperature so the water temperature comes at the room temperature and i'll be adding some water conditioner like there are certain uh, conditioners which you require before adding the fishes so i'll be adding this stuff before adding any fishes and here i'm doing the cleanup of the plants the artificial plants and the decor which i have i'm just rinsing it uh, under the hot water and the cold water and this is how i'm doing the cleanup and once i'll just clean it i'll just leave it out for some time and then i'll add it in the tank So it's morning now and now it's time to add the fishes so this is how I am just transferring the fishes into the bigger tank I already have a smaller tank at home so whenever I'm doing a cleanup I'll just take the old fish tank water and fill the smaller tank with the same water and then I add the fishes I do not change the water at all they need their water as it is so I add the water in the smaller tank and just leave the fishes in that tank so the water doesn't changes the temperatures remain the same and then after in the morning when the tank is set up really nicely the temperature the water is nice and it has all the good conditioner which was required i'll be adding the fishes so this is the final look of the fish tank setup like this is the final setup which i have done and fishes are already there so this is how i did it So this is the old tank fish water this is the old water in which the fishes were there earlier and now i'm gonna be adding the old fish water like i'll be taking a big mug of the old fish water and i'll be adding back in the tank so you can use like one big mug or two big mugs of water back the old water back in the aquarium because fish needs that water and it is good for them so i just add back the same water the old water in which the fishes were living earlier like the old water back through the filtration system i am just adding like two big mugs of the water back So this was all about how to set up the air pump and how to add background to your fish tank and also regarding some cleanup so hope you guys like the video please do subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon for more videos bye guys